Hello, Tim Whistler here uh, with my thrust plate asparagus launcher. Um, the only non-stock part on here is Mac Jeb, and I'm going to set uh, my Mac Jeb altitude for 100 kilometers and just let it autopilot it up into space, so you can uh, see how this works. And away we go. It's a little wobblier than I'd like, um, but I only spent about 20 minutes on this. I didn't really uh, devote a whole lot of time to making sure everything was strutted nicely, but it will get up into orbit. Uh, this is the craft file that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Uh, things that I didn't fine tune on here, uh, some of my uh, big orange tanks run out, as you can see here, before... Uh, these boosters. Usually when I'm building something like this I fine tune that so that uh, I'm not carrying dead weight because I do lose some Delta V. Uh, but this is plenty enough for this purpose so I didn't bother uh, fine tuning. Um, you'll see the solid fuel up here is going to run out pretty quick and then all the asparagus launchers are going to start all the asparagus stages are going to start falling off. So there goes the first one. Next one will be pretty quick. Um, and then talking about fine tuning, I also carried these solid boosters as dead weight for a stage or two. Because um, like I said, I didn't fine tune it. And if I drop those off early, uh, the way I've got them set up there, they'll slam into uh, my tanks and cause all kind of havoc. And I don't really want that either. So since I had enough Delta V to get up into space, uh, that was really all that was uh, important. Um, and basically the goal is to get this delivery vehicle into orbit. Um, delivery vehicle 75 tons, so that is a big challenge for uh, new people. Uh, starting our gravity turn. As soon as these last two uh, tanks fall off, then all these solid boosters will also fall off. It's a little unwieldy, but as the weight drops, uh, it'll clean itself up. It will get into orbit just fine. So we're at uh, 14,000 kilometers with an apoapsis of 23,000 kilometers. Uh, we should actually get into orbit with just enough fuel left to get to the moon before I have to undock my uh, payload. So uh, I'm going to let that run for a little bit. Um, Apple apps is on 40,000, so we're making good time there. Usually when I'm running mech jab, I'll limit the terminal velocity. Uh, that way you're not wasting a lot of delta v pushing against the air uh, and that seems to work pretty good uh, corrective steering or not corrective steering i've never seen it uh, make that big a difference but i have it turned on so uh, your mileage may vary Uh, one of the things I like about Mech Jab is you can watch your Delta V drop over here. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm just getting over a cold. Um, you can see your thrust to weight ratio change as your vehicle tonnage changes. Uh, this is a custom window I created. Uh, and I created another one for vessel information so you can see your vessel mass dropping, uh, max thrust, all that stuff. So we are uh, at 100,000 apoapsis. So Mech Jeb is just going to kind of keep it there because I'm still in atmosphere right now. So my apoapsis will slowly drop as air drags against me. But once I hit 69,000 meters, uh, I'm not in atmosphere anymore and it'll start to circularize. 
This is the stage where I usually turn on the RCS because this is a big unwieldy beast and the uh, little uh, SAS module I have on it is not quite sufficient. But I did put plenty of monopropellant so uh, even using it in these turns I'll have enough left for docking when I get there. Uh, got 447 uh, meters per second delta V to circularize. 500 left in this stage. So that will leave me almost 900 meters per second in the launch vehicle. Uh, that's actually enough to get to the moon. Uh, so I could take this thing all the way to the moon just on the asparagus launcher. So there we are, circularized at 100K. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take us to the moon so you can see how much... Uh, and I'll use MegJeb so that it'll be quicker. Uh, if I didn't want to use MegJeb, I would just uh, fly until the moon showed up here where the mouse pointer is uh, and just fly prograde until my well, orbit reached the moon, which is basically what MegJeb's going to do. Uh, you don't even need a maneuver node for that. Uh, to get to the other planets is harder, but to just get to the moon... Uh, you can fly to the moon, comes up over the horizon, and then fly prograde, and you'll hit it. But MegJeb will uh, auto-warp and all that other stuff, so we'll get there faster so this video is a little shorter. I'll have to manually stage at this point, because uh, I only have 73 meters per second delta V left uh, on this stage. But that's okay. So we're warping around the planet. And you'll see right as the moon comes up over the horizon, that'll also be when MegJeb decides is a good time to do a transfer to the moon. Uh, and I'll be right on this prograde marker where my mouse, mouse cursor is. Well, maybe not exactly. The moon is, there it is, right over the horizon. And it should start to burn here pretty quick. Yep. If I switch to the map view, you'll see my orbit expand out. So like I said, you can do that by hand. It's just a, a little quicker with MechJeb because it'll do all the warping and stuff for you. Um, get rid of those empty tanks. Uh, and I have just enough uh, fuel left in that last orange tank to get me to the moon. Uh, it's going to take about 500 meters per second delta V to get there and I have a little over that in the tank. So this is generally uh, the kind of launch vehicle I use whenever I want to get either heavy objects into orbit or lighter objects into orbit but with enough delta V left over to get out to the outer planets. And as soon as it's done with its maneuver I'll show you uh, disengaging the payload out of the launch vehicle. It's just about done. A little bit left. Okay, so we're done. If we look here, our orbit crosses the moon. We've got a moon encounter in five hours. Uh, I don't have any fuel to speak of uh, left. So I'll go ahead and stage uh, and gently push my delivery vehicle. My, my payload out of the launch vehicle. And there we go. We've got a nice fuel delivery vehicle heading to the moon. Check my orbit, make sure I'm still going to encounter it. Uh, and there we go.